Welcome back to Artsenu, where we tour and travel in our homeland in Israel. Previously on Artsenu. Through our touring here, we did find a note. This note says, invisible walls. I feel like we're getting closer and yet I have no idea what this means. Invisible walls. What are invisible walls? Where are invisible walls? Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome you aboard this El Al flight. On behalf of El Al, the captain and the crew, we wish you all a pleasant flight. El Al, it's not just an airline, it's Israel. Whew, this has been so confusing. So now I've got to look for invisible walls. Have you ever tried to look for something invisible? You can't see it. That's why it's called invisible. So I'm really hopeful that I've got some help because I am totally out. I just stopped here to grab a cup of coffee and see where I can go next. Oh, let's see out here. I got a couple of emails suggesting some places where maybe there are invisible walls. Alex, thank you for your suggestion. You suggested that we look in Yerushalayim. Thank you. Shoshana suggested that the walls of Yerushalayim also, the code near the Kotel, the holy walls, which are no longer up. Thank you. Arik Katz, thank you. Ari Burrell, also the walls of Yericho. Hmm, interesting idea. Thank you for your ideas. Let's start at Yerushalayim and see how we do there. That seems to be a good place to go anyway. It's always nice to catch a tefillah or two there. And then uh, if we don't find anything, well, I guess we'll move on. The old city of Yerushalayim is fascinating. It's kind of where the old meets the new. You know, Yerushalayim has been the most sought after city through all of history. And there are ruins here that date back three and four, maybe even 5,000 years. You know, we recently uncovered a room, a cheder, from the time of the first Beit HaMikdash, although most of the ruins that we see here are from the second Beit HaMikdash, and from the time of the Ottoman Turks when they rebuilt a lot of the buildings that we see today. Let's tour and see what we can find around. Originally, the Kotel wall, which is behind me over here, only went this far, it was completely blocked off. And this area behind me was very, very small. It went about 10 feet. This is the back of the Yeshiva Birkat Torah, which was an extension of the Yeshiva, but accidentally became an archeological dig dating back to the time of the first Beit HaMikdash. Behind me is Migdal David. This is the new Mimale Mall, which leads up from downtown Yerushalayim all the way up to the Ir Hatika behind me. It's a beautiful way to park and walk, shop, and go daven at the Kotel. Well, we're right back here in this courtyard. After touring a lot of the old city, and of course we've seen a lot of it before, we have come up empty-handed. Let's make our way to Yericho. That's an interesting place to look and see what we can find there. at the ruins outside of Yericho. In the background, you can see Mitzpe Yericho, which are the cliffs behind Yericho. The city of Yericho, interestingly enough, was destroyed originally by Yahushua. The reason we're referring to it as invisible walls is because the Bnei Yisrael marched around the walls seven times, they blew the shofar, and the walls sank into the ground. They became invisible, allowing Yeshua and the Jewish people to uh, overcome the city of Yericho. For many years, the walls were gone, as Yoshua said, nobody should rebuild them. In the time of Achav and Izevel, during Sefer Melachim, a man named Chiel, who was paid by Izevel, decided to rebuild the Chomot of Yericho, and again, he was punished for it. You know, what's interesting about sitting near Yericho this time of year is tomorrow, Yud Nisan, 
marks the anniversary of the Bnei Yisrael crossing the Yardin into Eretz Yisrael. It is called Yom Aliyah Yisrael, which happened not so far from here, right on the Jordan River on the other side of the city of Yericho. The first place they came was the outskirts, the Mitzpe Yericho. And here's where we celebrated Pesach for the first time in Eretz HaKodesh. These are some of the archaeological digs around the Chomot Yericho, some of the roads that have been paved around some of these old, ancient, remaining walls, some barrier walls that held up some of the walls of Yericho that were large enough to fit entire families between two parts of them. This is Mitzvah Yericho, a beautiful Jewish community overlooking Yericho and the Jordan River where the Jewish people crossed into Eretz Yisrael. Indeed, after looking around, we seem to have been very, very lucky. We found a box. The problem with this box is it's locked. It's locked, locked, locked. And I don't know how to open it. See you next time on Artsenu, where we tour and travel through our homeland, through Eretz Yisrael. Shalom.